Hello everybody, this is Hike Manukian. Um, I've been wanting to do tutorials on my channel for a while now and I finally got my computer set up so I can record my process and uh, audio. Um, in this scene, this is a scene from an upcoming episode that I'm working on, I'm going to have Harut chewing and I'll be showing you how I would create that. Harut himself is one piece, um, he's, like a, he's an object, one piece, I can move him around. But what I'm going to do is I um, I've set this up where I can go inside of this piece. I can double click it. Now you can see he's broken up into different pieces. His head, his arms, his hands, his body, his legs. You can move each of these pieces individually and there um, you can animate this by not creating a single new drawing and that's called symbol animation but what I do is I do a combination of both symbol animation and hand drawn animation so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here inside the mouth and in here you can see I have three layers here on this layer up here is the mustache I can turn it on and off and you can see it appear and disappear. On this bottom layer I have his his um, 5 o'clock shadow and then on this layer I have his chin and his lip. Now the chin and the lip are animated moving up and down. They're moving up and down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a chewing animation on this layer which is the mustache layer. So I go in here and I go on a blank keyframe here. I t turn on this down here, which is an onion skin, so I can see um, this this drawing while I'm on the new keyframe. And then I drag this over so I can see that drawing here. There you go, you can see a little ghost image of it. Um, and then I turn on my drawing tools here select the brush tool and I start drawing his new mouth shape which would be this is the chew the squash of the chew and then this is the stretch of the chew so I go here and I draw this out And then I have these two drawings. So if I hit play, you can see the chewing happening. Now I need to fill in the. Um, I don't know why these lines appear here, but now I need to fill in. So if you see between these two drawings, there's a blank keyframes, and that's where I get to fill in with more drawings. So I turn on the onion skin. Now I make sure that this little green piece here is dragged out so I can see this drawing. And then I make the blue, I drag the blue out here so I can see the previous drawing. And then I go in between these two and I create a new drawing that goes in between these two extremes. Now I hit play. It's chewing. What I actually want to do now, I'm going to change some stuff up. Um, I'm going to delete this drawing. And then I'm going to, when he closes his mouth, I eventually want him to get this, to this shape. But I'm going to hold off on doing that. And I'm going to create a new mouth here that's I'm gonna keep this side this side from coming up until later so I'm gonna take this mouth and I'm gonna tone down that squash of the or the raising of the cheek up there 
I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna lower that lip. So then he has this stretch. It goes up and then he kind of does this little thing right here. His cheek goes up and then it goes back into the stretch like that. So it has more of a chewing effect. Okay. Now I'm going to add an in between between these two drawings. And then we hit play and we watch it. So then I'm going to just finish off with the animation here, the rough animation. This is the closing of, of the jaw. So then I hit play, and there you go. Okay, so here, the the chin and the five o'clock shadow, they start moving down while this cheek area is um, chewing up. So I'm going to move these two over here. I'm going to hit F5 to create a new, or just add more time to that keyframe. And I'm going to add a blank keyframe here by hitting F7. Blank keyframe means there's no drawings on it. I'm going to have to create a drawing on there. And then what I want is when the, when the mustache comes up and it goes into that chew, pose, then I want it in between that to go from this two pose back to that, back down to this. So I'm going to grab everything here and then bring them over to the last frame so that I can use that to be able to see between these two drawings. And I go close and I create a drawing. I'm going to draw it closer to this one, closer to the this mustache just to favor that pose a little bit and then then I will grab these delete them delete frame or remove frames and I hit enter and I watch that chewing happening so when I'm happy with my animation and I'm ready to clean it up what I will do is I will create a new layer, like this, and then I will grab the one mustache that's already cleaned up in color, and I'll grab, move that over. I'll hit F7 to create a blank keyframe where that was before because <clears throat> I don't need any drawings there, and then I will lock that layer. So I can't affect this mustache in any way. And the only layer I want to affect is the one with the drawings on it, the rough drawings. So you see these two are also lock locked. I'll turn on this right here, which is edit multiple, um, edit multiple frames. This handle you drag out so that you have all of the frames within that handle. And then you hit control A to select all the drawings you you go to your color so right now it's on black I select that I do maybe like a red and you can see all of them changing on whatever color I put it on I'm gonna go with red and then I'm gonna take down the opacity down to maybe like 40 maybe okay 
and then I turn off the edit multiple layers and now you have a lighter version of your roughs and then I, now I lock that layer and I unlock the layer that I'm going to do the cleanup on and then I change my color back to black to take the opacity back up I zoom in select my brush now um, these are my um, these are the drawing options this is the use pressure so right now if I don't have those turned on and I make a line it's just going to be one thick line when I turn these on you can see I can do thick to thin if I press harder the line becomes thicker anyways I turn those on and then I also like to turn this on when I'm cleaning up it's called object drawing if I don't turn it on and I make two lines once they intersect they become one drawing now if I turn the um, select my brush if I turn on the object drawing or you can hit J if I make two lines they're still separate they don't become one drawing and now I'll show you why that's helpful when you're doing cleanup so I'll zoom in um, and now I want to um, change my line width to match these two lines right now it's a little too thick so I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to turn this down to maybe uh, 6 and I can see how that looks if I press a little harder that's close enough and then I'll go through and just start using my rough animation as a guide I'm just cleaning up like this I like to draw through um, I don't start here and then finish here I, I like to draw through and get better curves and better better lines and then at the end when I do that at the end I'll go in select the, the line and then just delete anything that I don't want in there let's do the same with this I can edit my lines in there and then go to the next drawing I hit F7 to make a blank keyframe and then once again trace it sometimes I'll just go through and clean it all up and then take care of all this stuff. So I'll go to the next one. Next one. So there's my cleanup drawings. Now I'll go through and I'll clean it up. And this way I don't have to keep switching back between tools when I just stay on one tool. As I get rid of those. Okay. Now I'll turn off my rough layer. Um, actually, af after you're done with the rough layer, you can um, right click and turn it into a guide. And a uh, guide makes it so that when you export or render uh, your video out it's going to pretend that those layers don't exist so now oh I actually forgot to do this one
There you go. Now it's time to color. Now if I select the the paint bucket and I try to fill this with a color, it's not gonna do it because my lines are still separate. So in order to be able to color in between them, you need to combine them into one object. What I do is I select the key, select select the frame, control B to break it. Control B, control B. So now they're all broken. And then I go to the one mustache that has the color. I uh, select the color picker by hitting I and then click on the color. Now I go to the mustaches that aren't colored and I click in there. And now they're all colored. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you guys have any questions or any specific things you guys want me to cover in future tutorials, let me know. Any suggestions, um, whether you guys are interested in these tutorials or not, or if they're helpful, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to hit subscribe. See you next time.